Let us talk about ideal gases and an overview sa ideal gas laws. So, itinuturo ito sa general chemistry or sa STEM, pero this is very important bago tayo mag-proceed sa mas in-depth na discussion about ideal gases sa physical chemistry and thermodynamics. So, in this video, we're just going to talk about the basics of ideal gases and an overview sa mga tinatawag nating ideal gas laws. And then, iisa-isahin natin yan later on para magbigay tayo ng mga sample problems para mas maintindihan natin sila. No? So, let us begin with our definition of a gas. A gas is a piece of matter where atoms of a substance are in motion and fill their container, katulad nung nakikita natin ngayon dito sa ating figure. So, kapag sinabi natin gas, it can be either an ideal gas or a real gas. So, our concern for today is an ideal gas. So, ano ba tong tinatawag nating ideal gas? So, to really understand kung ano ba yung ideal gas, we must first understand kung ano ba yung sinasabi sa kinetic theory. Okay, so, ano ba tong tinatawag nating kinetic theory? So, we are not going to dig deep about kinetic theory. We will try to discuss this in a separate video. But we are going to highlight dito sa ating video yung mga bagay na nandito sa kinetic theory that affects our understanding on ideal gas. So, I will just read uh, yung ating definition and yung involved na mga factors dito sa kinetic theory. It explains many of the properties of matter. It is especially concerned with the relationship between heat and motion. According to the kinetic theory, the temperature of a substance is the measurement of the average kinetic energy of the molecules that make up a substance. So, isa-isayin natin kung ano ba itong mga sinasabi sa kinetic theory. Gases are composed of molecules which are in very rapid motion. So, although itong figure natin dito, hindi siya masyado mabilis, no? But in reality, it is in rapid motion. Mabilis ang movement ng ating mga molecules. The amount of space between the individual molecules is so great that we can say that the volume occupied by the molecules themselves are negligible. So, if you're going to refer to the kinetic theory, dahil sa laki ng space na kinaroroon ng mga molecules natin compared sa kanilang sizes, we can assume that this space or the volume occupied by the molecules themselves are negligible. The average kinetic energy of the molecules is proportional to the Kelvin or absolute temperature. Also, at a given temperature, all gases have the same average kinetic energy. So, dapat din nating matandaan, whenever we are solving problems involving ideal gases, kinoconvert natin yung ating mga units into Kelvin scale or a Rankine scale. No? Now, the molecules are so far apart and are moving so rapidly that the forces of attraction between them are negligible. So, dito rin sa kinetic theory, we are assuming that the force of attraction between the molecules are negligible. So, basically, all of these assumptions are only absolutely true for ideal gases. Okay, so dapat nating matandaan yan. So, if this kinetic theory applies to ideal gas, therefore, for ideal gas, we neglect the volume occupied by particles and we neglect the weak forces or the van der Waals forces in our molecules. But basically, these properties of ideal gas can also be observed on real gases at extremely high pressure or very low temperature. So, in discussing ideal gases, there are variables that we need to discuss. So, una na dyan is yung pressure. Pressure is the force the gases exerts on its container or how much the particles are heating the sides. Okay, so katulad na nakikita ninyo sa figure, no? tumatama yung ating mga molecules sa sides ng ating container and that creates our pressure. And then we have temperature. So, temperature is the amount of heat energy available to be transferred into kinetic energy of motion. So, the higher the temperature, the faster the particle move. So, katulad ng nakikita ninyo dito, no? So, mababa yung temperature. Habang tumataas yung temperature natin, bumibilis yung ating mga molecules, no? And then we have volume. So, volume tells us how big is the container where the glass is 
place. No? So, isang factor din itong volume na kailangan natin i-take note when we are discussing ideal gases. And then finally, yung moles or how many particles are present in the container. So, ito yung mga mahalagang factors na kailangan natin matandaan. No? So, yung uh, how much the particles are hitting the sides. So, yung how fast is our um, molecules are moving through the temperature and how big does they occupy and how many particles are present in the container. Now, these variables are related to each other. And because of that, merong mga nabuong mga laws in ideal gases. That's what we're going to talk about now. Now, on this loss of ideal gases, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng overview. Dahil sa mga succeeding videos natin, iisa-isahin natin sila, no? And we are going to solve problems involving this ideal gas loss. So, una na dyan is yung Boyle's Law. So, on Boyle's Law, uh, this is happening in constant temperature. So, if you're going to look at this figure here, so assuming we have constant temperature, we have variables, pressure, and volume. Now, according to Boyle's Law, the pressure is inversely proportional sa volume. So, assuming this is our condition 1 and this is our condition 2, so if you're going to check yung condition number 1, mas malaki yung volume natin and mas mababa yung ating pressure. Now, if we increase the pressure, so katulad ng nakikita ninyo dito, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang arrow sa pressure, that means we increase the value of our pressure, bumaba yung ating volume. That is why Boyle's Law states that the pressure is inversely proportional to our volume. Now, introducing a proportionality constant, we will have P is equal to K times 1 over B. Now, we are going to isolate our constant K, so we will have P times V is equal to K. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Uh, the product of our pressure and, vol and volume stays the same at any condition. No? So, for example, in our condition 1, we have pressure and volume in that condition. So, we are going to name that as pressure 1 and volume 1. So, since the product of pressure and volume are constant at any condition, that means P1 and V1 is also equal to P2, V2. And that is what we call Boyle's Law. Okay? Pag sinabi nating Boyle's Law, ito kagad yung papasok sa ating mind na equation. No? P1V1 is equal to P2V2. Next is yung Charles Law. Charles Law happens at constant pressure. So, dito naman, constant ang ating pressure. No? And according to Charles Law, volume is directly proportional to temperature. So, have a look again sa ating illustration. Uh, assuming this is our condition 1 and this is our condition 2. So, tingnan mo yung condition 1. Mas mababa yung ating temperature and konti yung ating volume. And condition 2, tinaasan natin yung temperature, no? Mataas na yung temperature niya and tumaas din yung volume natin. That is why it is directly proportional, no? Yung volume natin and temperature. Now, introducing a proportionality constant, we have B is equal to KT. Okay, so isolate natin yung ating constant. We have V over T is equal to K. So that means V over T is the same at any condition. So meaning V1 over T1, okay, is also equal to V2 over T2. Okay, so that is Charles' law. Okay, so Boyle's law is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, and Charles' law is V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay, so next we have the Gay-Lussac's law. The Gay-Lussac's law happens at constant volume. So, and according to Gay-Lussac's law, the pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So, katulad nung naikita natin dito sa ating illustration. Ano? Sa condition 1 natin, okay, mas mababa yung ating pressure okay, and um, the movement of our molecules is hindi ganun kabilis. And then, at condition 2, nag-increase tayo ng heat kaya mas bumilis yung ating mga molecules. And because of that, mas lalo ring bibilis yung pagtama ng ating mga molecules sa wall ng ating container. And katulad nung napag-aralan natin last time, that creates our pressure. So, mas mabilis ang movement ng ating mga molecules, mas tataas din ang pressure sa ating system. 
Okay, that is why pressure is directly proportional to our temperature at constant volume. Okay, so introducing a proportionality constant, we have P is equal to K times T. And isolating K, we have P over T is equal to K. So, ibig sabihin, P over T is constant at any given condition. No? So, for example, in our condition 1, we have P1 over T1. So, this is equal to dito sa ating condition 2, which is P2 over T2. And that is Gay-Lussac's law. Okay? Now, if we can combine all of these ideal gas laws, and that is what we call the combined gas law. Okay? So, in Boyle's law, we have PB is equal to constant. Charles law is V over T is equal to constant. And Gay-Lussac's law is P over T is equal to a constant. Now, combining these three, we have P times V over T is equal to constant K. So, that means... P times B over T stays the same at any given condition. For example, in our condition 1, we have P1, V1 over T1. Then, this is equal to our condition 2, which is P2, V2 over T2. And that is what we call the combined gas law. And actually, kung kabisado ninyo itong combined gas law, makukuha na kagad ninyo yung mga equations natin in Boyle's Law, Charles Law, and Gay-Lussac's Law, kung sakaling makalimutan ninyo. Kailangan lang malaman ninyo kung ano yung constant na variable natin. For example, di ba alam natin yung Gay-Lussac's Law happens in constant volume. So, let's say we have a constant volume na condition. Ano? So, this is our uh, combined gas law. P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V2 over T2. Now, Dahil constant yung ating volume, therefore, our V1 is equal to V2. Okay? Hindi siya nagbabago. Equal yung ating volume sa condition 1 and condition 2. So, therefore, we have P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V1 over T2. Dahil pareho lang yung V1 at V2. So, we can cancel out itong ating V1. So, therefore, ang may iwan sa atin is P1 over T1 which is equal to P2 over T2. And this is our Gay-Lussac's law. Diba? So, this is the same ng kaninang na-derive natin sa Gay-Lussac's law. So, basically, yan yung mga ideal gas laws na gagamitin natin when we are dealing with ideal gases. Now, in our next video, isa-isahin natin yung Boyle's law, Charles law, Gay-Lussac's law, and combined gas laws. mag answer tayo ng mga sample problems para makita ninyo how to apply uh, these equations sa ating mga problems in chemistry. So, with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, P6, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.